real story of hope and a real happy ending this Christmas morning about a little choir that could. They were supposed to be the kids abandoned by society, so many of them poor, surrounded by gangs and drugs. But they found a home in an unlikely place, a choir room. And together they realized what you can do when you raise your voice to the sky. A school bus arrives at the Richard Nixon Library and Museum Auditorium in Yorba Linda, California. Inside, precious cargo, little performers, little hearts beating with excitement for the biggest event of the year, their Christmas concert. They have special holiday red vests, and the story behind each and every one of these faces is a story of hope, progress, and finding out what is deep inside. I like to sing because it, it, it makes me energetic and powerful and makes me think I can do anything. I love singing mostly because it, it gets more passion into your life. It makes you feel happy if you're, if you're, if you're a little sad. You can really embrace your feelings in singing. They are the children of nearby Santa Ana. Many of their families straddle the poverty line. Most are Latino children, and they live in an area that has gangs, drugs, danger. Feliz Navidad! I don't get distracted, distracted by bad things or stuff, and I get to do good stuff. More than 100 of them, from ages 8 to 18, meet and practice every Tuesday after school. The program is called Kid Singers. Most schools don't have budgets for such programs. Private donations pay for this. The investment is invisible, but it is audible. If I wasn't in this course, I'd probably be in a gang. I know it's hard to believe, but really, because there's a lot of bad people at my school that I could have gotten mixed in with, but I didn't because I was in Kid Singers. Aisha Williams lost her father to pancreatic cancer. Her mom is in jail for dealing drugs. Her grandmother, raising her now, has cancer too. But Aisha still has hope. Music takes me to another place where there's peace and everyone's just happy. And it's just, it's harmony. I feel at home as if I have a family, as if everything's okay. He soars in the chorus, one of the shining stars of the group. Justin Duncan, picked on by bullies at school, but he says the chorus program has changed his life. At school, I have a lot of kids who don't think I'm cool or think I'm, I just not fit in. Now that this saved me, I just feel so much better. They say music actually literally leaves a mark on the brain that affects people in ways that we can't even figure out. But we can see it, we can measure it by the lives of these children. They help each other help themselves. The University of California did a study and found that the impact of the chorus on these lives is extraordinary. 87% of the kids that were involved in Kid Singers had better self-confidence, had better self-esteem. <laughs> Whether it's gang involvement or school failure or drug abuse, these kids are able to avoid that because they have an alternative, and that alternative really pays off. At the concert, singing Christmas songs. So much joy on stage, so much joy in the audience. Children who for one moment are the center of the world, and they love it. They feel hopeful. They feel excited. Something ignited in them. They got that light. And at the end of the performance, a favorite song. It's one they sing all year round. An old spiritual, you know the words. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine.
hold this, this experience in their hearts. And a joyful Christmas to them.